Ugh. All right, that's it. This is being completed today. I just got this back from MCC, and if you remember from the last episode, I ended up breaking this exact bolt in here. And what MCC ended up doing is welding a nut to that little nub and then backing it out and charging me $40. So now that this rear brake pedal has cost me $218, I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna focus, and I'm gonna put this on the bike. So I guess this is a video part two or number two or attempt to or try to or we're gonna actually make it fucking happen this time to put on uh Vinci Vanshi rear brake pedal on your KTM 690. Let's go. Alright, so I made it on there. Actually, really pretty easy. Probably took me about 20 minutes. Then again, I had two tries at this and no broken bolts this time. Thank goodness. But as far as it goes, I think it looks great. I think the brake pad itself or the little pedal is a lot bigger than the factory one. Um, it also looks better in my opinion. Um, so we'll see the first time I go for a ride with it. Um, overall, for the price tag on this, I don't know if I would suggest it. It's uh, $178 without the broken bolt, $218 with the broken bolt, and uh, aesthetically cool, but yeah, I don't see any real difference right now. But to each their own is what it is. But amateur tip for you, um, put all your extra little bolts and tools and Allen keys and all that other fun stuff in a bag and label it and put it in your toolbox and bring it everywhere with you. Bring it to the track, bring it to a friend's house. If it's small enough, ride with it because you never know when you'll need the smallest bolt or the smallest tool. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope, uh, yeah, you learned something and at least from my mistakes you learned something and are able to do it at home by yourself. So until next time, keep riding.